In a couple of our previous options videos, we introduced the idea of options, what they were, talked about some of the key terms like what a call option is, a put option is, what do we mean by exercise or strike price, and went through some of the ways to evaluate profitability or break-even points on a basic call option or put option at expiration. In this video, we're going to start looking at what happens prior to expiration. Prior to expiration, we're going to get into intrinsic values and speculative premiums that make up the value of a call option or a put option. So prior to expiration, option prices can be split into two separate values, an intrinsic value and a speculative premium. The option price or option value is going to be the combination of these two values added together. The intrinsic value is just the value of the option if it were to expire immediately. So if the option expired today, what would it be worth to us? The speculative premium is the difference between the current option price, what it's costing us to buy the option, and its intrinsic value. So if we put these into formula terms, we have the intrinsic value of a call is equal to the maximum of the current stock price minus the exercise or strike price or zero whichever is larger so if the current price is greater than the strike price that's the intrinsic value if the current stock price is less than the exercise price the intrinsic value is going to be zero for the intrinsic value of the put remember for the put we now have the right to sell the stock not the right to buy it so we flip that strike price and stock price around if we can sell the stock for more than its current price, it's going to have a positive intrinsic value. If we can't sell the stock for more than its current price, it's going to have an intrinsic value of zero. And the speculative premium, as we mentioned before, is just the difference between the option value and the intrinsic value. Probably the best way to do that or show this is to walk through an example. So we're going to go back to an example that we used in one of our previous videos. We're looking at some call and put options on Apple. We're going to assume it's June 1st and Apple is trading for $345 per share. We're going to look at a June 350 call option. Remember the June contract expires on the third Friday of June. All the contracts expire on the third Friday of the expiration month. So we've still got about two or three weeks until this option expires. The June 350 call is currently trading for $4.10. And the June 350 put, remember this is the right to sell Apple stock for $350 a share, is trading for $8.60. So when we want to walk through this example, we're going to calculate the intrinsic value and speculative premium for each of these options. Let's start with the call. The intrinsic value for a call is equal to the maximum of the stock price minus the exercise price or zero. So in this case our current stock price was $345. That's how much Apple is trading for on June 1st. The strike price, or exercise price, is $350. $345 minus $350 gives us a negative $5. If we tried to exercise this option today, we would be selling, or we would be trying to buy a $345 stock for $350. That doesn't make any sense. Instead, we would let our option expire worthless. So zero is the intrinsic value. So the intrinsic value of our call is zero. That leaves the speculative premium. Speculative premium is the option price. Remember that option? call option which is currently trading for four dollars and ten cents so 
the speculative premium for a call option is $4.10. Now let's do the same thing with the put. Just a reminder, we're looking at a June 350 put. Stock is trading for $3.45 and the value of the put is $8.60. Intrinsic value for the put is the maximum, the strike price or exercise price minus the current stock price R0. Our stock price or our strike price, the strike or exercise price was 350. The stock was currently trading for $345, so that's the stock price. $350 minus $345 is $5. If this option were to expire today, we could sell a $345 stock for $350. That would be $5. 5 is greater than 0, so the intrinsic value of the put is $5. Next, we want the speculative premium for the put. Remember that put was trading for $8.60. So we just take the current price of the put minus the intrinsic value. And that put has a speculative premium of $3.60. $5 for the intrinsic value. 360 for the speculative premium. The last thing we're going to introduce in this video is the idea of in the money versus out of the money options. When we're looking at an in the money option, we're talking about any option with a positive intrinsic value. So in our example, our put option, which had an intrinsic value of $5, was in the money. The call option, which had an intrinsic value of zero, was not in the money. The idea of in the money option, if it expired today, it would be worthwhile to exercise it. If we're talking about an out of the money option, that's an option with an intrinsic value of zero. Our call option is out of the money. If that call option expired today, wouldn't it be worth anything to exercise it? We'd just throw it away and that's referred to as out of the money. You might also hear the terms near the money. If we're near the money, the stock price is close to the strike price. If we have a deep in the money option, that would be a case where the stock price for a call option would be far greater than the strike price. An example would be our June 350 Apple call with a stock price of 400 would be a deep in the money call option. If we were talking about a deep out of the money call option, we're talking about the stock price being far away from the strike price. Maybe the current stock price is 300 and our strike price is 350. The stock would have to rise by $50 to be in the money. So it's deep out of the money. It's got a long ways to go before it gets there.